Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. So first, the derivative of arc sin x, so yung arc sin x is the inverse of sin x. So d over dx, the quantity of sin or the inverse of sin x is equal to uh, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So, if u is differentiable function of x, then, so the derivative of arc sine u is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u. So, for example, find the derivative of y is equal to sine or the arc sine 3x. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we just follow the formula. So, ito yung u natin, yung 3x. That will be 1 over the square root of 1 minus, so yung u natin is 3x, papalitan lang natin, and then my squared siya. Times the derivative ng u, which is 3x. And what is the derivative of 3x? That is 3. So multiply 1 times 3, so that will become 3 all over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. Bakit 9x squared? Because since my squared tayo dito, 3 times 3, that is 9 and x times x, that is x squared. So, that is 9x squared. So, this will be the final answer. 3 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. So, another example for arc sine x. So, we have uh, find the derivative of y is equal to arc sine the quantity of x squared minus 2. So, for our number 2, we have find the derivative of y is equal to arc sine of the quantity x squared minus 2. So, again, ang kailangan natin maunang identify is yung value ng u. So, yung u natin dito is yung x squared minus 2. Then, sundan lang natin ito. So, what will be 1 over the square root of 1 minus. So, yung u natin is x squared minus 2. Then, don't forget na mayroong pang exponent na to dapat. Times yung derivative ng u natin which is x squared minus 2. And then, what is the derivative of x squared minus 2? That is 2x. So, 1, copy lang natin ito, and then multiply natin kay 2x. And then, itong nasa baba, no, kasi since naka-squared siya, yung binomial natin na x squared minus 2, so kailangan natin expand yan. So, x squared times x squared, that is x to the fourth power. So, x squared times negative 2. So, alalahanin yung special product na... Uh, natutunan nyo during grade 8. So, x squared times negative 2, that is negative 2x squared times 2, that is negative 4x squared. And then, negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. So, magiging 1 minus the quantity of x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus 4. And then, so ito ay ilalabas na natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay, so it will become 1 minus x to the fourth, since negative times negative, that is positive, and then negative times positive, that is negative. So, the final answer will be uh, 2x over the square root of, so, alalahanin natin na kailangan mauna dito yung mas mataas yung exponents. So, negative x to the fourth plus 4x squared, bakit negative 3 na lang siya, so 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. So, this will be the final answer for Example number 2. At yan ay para sa arc sin x. Okay. Pangalawa is the derivative of arc cosine x. So, if d over dx, the quantity of cosine or the arc cosine x is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So, if u is differentiable function of x, then, okay, so the derivative of arc cosine u is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u. So, for example, number 1, find the derivative of y equals the arc cosine 3x squared. So, yung u natin dito is yung 3x squared. So, sundan lang natin din ito. So, that will become yung negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus so, yung u natin again is 3x squared. And don't forget again na meron tayong exponent pa na 2. So, times uh, the derivative ng u natin which is 3x squared. So, what is the derivative of 3x squared? That is 6x. 
So, copy natin ito. And then, ito, uh, i-multiply natin. I-multiply natin dalawang beses. So, it will become negative 1. Okay, over 1 minus, since uh, 3 times 3, that is 9. And x squared times x squared, that is x to the fourth. So, maging 1 minus 9 x to the fourth yung nasa loob ng ano natin, no? Nung radical. So, times yung derivative ng 3x squared natin, which is 6x. So, negative 1 times 6x, that is negative 6x, over the square root of 1 minus 9x to the fourth power. So, this will be the final answer. So, another example for arc cosine x. So, find the derivative of y is equal to 3x times the arc cosine 2x. So, again, meron tayong dalawa dito. So, ano yung gagamitin natin kapag may ganito? So, uh, i-apply natin dito yung product rule and then at the same time ito. No, apply din natin. So, first, eh, si 3x, i-multiply natin sa derivative ng arc cosine 2x natin. So, kapag kukunin natin yung derivative ng arc cosine 2x natin, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, 3x times negative 1 over 1 minus the quantity of 2x squared times yung derivative ng uh, 2x natin. Plus, yung arc cosine 2x natin, i-multiply naman natin sa derivative ng 3x. Okay? Then, simplify natin. So, copy lang muna natin ito. So, that will become 3x times, okay, negative 1 over, so, 2x times 2x, that is 4x to the fourth. Uh, this will be 4x squared rather, no? So, this will be 4x squared. So, again, this is the square root of 1 minus 4x squared times the derivative of 2x, which is 2, plus, okay, copy lang natin ito, times yung derivative ng 3x natin is 3. And then, after that, so, it will become 3x times negative 1 times negative 2, that is negative 6x, over the square root of 1 minus 4x squared plus, so this will be 3 times, okay, ilagay lang natin yung 3 natin dito sa unahan, ng arc cosine 2x natin. So, the final answer is negative 6x over the square root of 1 minus 4x squared plus 3 times the arc cosine 2x. So, the next inverse trigonometric function is the derivative of arc tangent x. So, the arc tangent x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So, if we're going to get the value of u, so the arc tangent u is equal to 1 over 1 plus u squared times the derivative of u. So, find the derivative of y is equal to the arc tangent 6x. So, yung u natin dito is yung 6x. So, ang gagawin lang natin, okay, so sundan lang din natin ito. So, 1, dy over dx is equal to 1 over 1 plus. So, yung u natin again is 6x squared times the derivative of u, which is 6x. Then, ang unang gagawin, kunin natin yung derivative ng 6x. So, what is the derivative of 6x? That is 6. So, then, uh, copy lang natin and then simplify na natin ito. So, 6x times 6x, that is 36x squared. So, 1 over 1 plus 36x squared times 6, it will become 6 over 36x squared plus 1. So, this will be the final answer. So, another example for arc tangent x. No? So, find the derivative of y is equal to 3x squared times the arc tangent 2x. So, parang uh, pa similar siya dun sa pangalawa example natin sa arc cosine. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, gagamitin natin ng product rule, and then ito. So, dy over dx. So, si 3x squared, imumultiply natin sa derivative ng arc tangent 2x natin. So, para makuha natin yung uh, derivative ng arc tangent 2x natin, ito yung gagamitin natin. So, 1 over 1 plus 2x squared times the derivative of 2x plus itong arc tangent 2x naman natin, imumultiply natin sa derivative ng 3x squared. And then, isa-isa natin. So, it will become 3x squared times 1 over 1 plus. So, 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. And then, yung derivative ng 2x is 2. Then, plus... 
Copy lang natin ito, times yung derivative ng 3x squared which is 6x. And then, after that, so pwede natin kopyahin ito, ay multiply yung 3x squared sa 2 times 1. So, 3x squared times 1 times 2, that is 6x squared over 1 plus 4x squared plus. So, lip, nilipat lang natin yung 6x dito sa unahan ng arctangent 2x natin. So, since ito, pwede pa natin itong isimplify, no? Since ang LCD natin dito is yung 1 plus 4x squared. So, yung gagawin natin, or, or we can multiply ito sa 1 plus 4x squared kasi yung LCD natin, no? That will be 6x squared over 1 plus 4x squared. So, if we're going to uh, divide 6x squared over 1 plus 4x squared dito sa imumultiply natin sa 1 plus 4x squared, so makakancel yung 1 plus 4x squared. So, maiwan lang doon yung 6x squared. And then, uh, ito, imumultiply natin dito. Since wala tayong makakancel, so, you just multiply 6x times the arc tangent 2x times itong ano natin, uh, LCD natin na 1 plus 4x squared. And then simplify natin, copy lang natin yung 6x squared plus, so 6x, uh, 6x arc tangent 2x times 1, that will become 6x arc tangent 2x plus 6x arc tangent 2x times 4x squared, it will become 24x cubed arctangent 2x over 1 plus 4x squared. So, this will be the final answer. Okay, for um, number 4 or letter D, the, ito yung pang-apat na inverse ng trigonometric function, the arc cos second x. So, what is the inverse of arc cos second? That is negative 1 over the absolute value of x square root of x squared minus 2 where your abs the, the absolute value should be greater than 1. So, ibig sabihin laging positive ito no? kasi greater than 1 siya. So, if you use a differentiable function of x then, uh, the inverse function of second or the arc cos second u is equal to 1 over the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 2 times the derivative of u. So, again, susundan lang natin yung uh, formula na to. So, find the derivative of y is equal to the arc cos uh, secant of 2x. So, ang u natin is yung 2x. So, susundan lang natin ito. That will be negative 1. So, Nakalimutan ko lagyan ng negative 1 dito. So, lagyan lang natin. Okay. So, negative 1 over the absolute value of 2x, yun yung u natin, times the square root of 2x squared minus 1 times the derivative of 2x. So, copy negative 1 and then ilabas lang natin. The absolute value of 2x is 2x times the square root of so, 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared minus 1 times 2. So, it will become negative 2, negative 1 times 2, that is negative 2, over 2x times the square root of 4x squared minus 1. So, ito pwede natin i-cancel to, yung 2. So, maiwan na lang sa numerator natin, is negative 1 over x. So, x na lang maiwan dito, kasi kinancel natin yung 2. So, times the square root of 4x squared minus 1. So, this will be the final answer. Okay, so yung pang limang inverse trigonometric function natin is the derivative of arc second. So, yung inverse ng arc second natin is 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 2. Okay, so that is x squared minus 2. Let's check. So, again, class, Minus 1 nang dapat ito, no? Okay, so pinalitan natin kasi yung nakalagay kanina is minus 2. So again, the inver uh, the arc second, u, is equal to 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1 times the derivative of u. So for example, kukunin natin yung derivative ng arc second of 4 minus 2x. So ang u natin dito is 4 minus 2x. So, 1, susundan lang natin ito, 1 over the absolute value of 4 minus 2x times the square root of, 
So, yung x natin dito, ay yung u natin, it should be u dito, no? That will be u. So, hindi rin napalitan. So, again, susundan lang natin. So, yung u natin is yung 4 minus 2x times the square root of 4 minus 2x squared minus 1 times the derivative of 4 minus 2x. So, kukunin natin ito. Kunin natin yung absolute value ng 4 minus 2x and that is 4 minus 2x times the square root of so, expand lang natin ito. So, 4 times 4 kasi may squared tayo. That is 16. And then, yung middle term, i-multiply natin to 4 times negative 2x, that is negative 8x times 2. That is negative 16x plus negative 2x times negative 2x, that is positive 4x squared, copy minus 1. And then, yung derivative ng 4 minus 2x, that is negative 2. So, after that, so 1 times negative 2, that is negative 2, and then copy. So, 4 minus 2x times the, so susundan lang natin, no, yung uh, ano natin, dapat mat, yung, naun, yung unang term ay yung mas mataas yung exponent. So, 4x squared minus 16x, since pare silang constant, so 16 minus 1, that is positive 15. So, the final answer will be, Okay, so uh, since itong 4 minus 2x class, pwede natin i-factor by 2 times 2 minus x, makakancel natin yung 2. So, ang maiwan na lang sa taas, that is negative 1 over 2 minus x times the square root of 4x squared minus 16x plus 15. And this is the last uh, inverse trigonometric function, the arc cotangent. So, the inverse of arc cotangent x, I know, the inverse of cotangent, okay, so that is negative 1 over 1 plus x squared or binabasa rin pa rin natin na r cotangent x. So, if u is differentiable function of x, then the derivative of r cotangent u is equal to negative 1 over 1 plus u squared times the derivative of u. So, for example, kukunin natin yung derivative ng arc cotangent 4 minus 3x squared. So, ito yung u natin. So, sundan lang natin yan. So, negative 1 over 1 plus. So, yung u natin is 4 minus 3x squared. And then, may exponent pa tayo dyan na 2. Times yung derivative ng 4 minus 3x squared. And then, copy negative 1. So, 1 plus. So, since may squared pa tayo dito, expand natin to. So, 4 times 4, that is 16. 4 times negative 3x squared, that is negative 12x squared times 2. So, that is negative 24x squared plus negative 3x squared times negative 3x squared, that is positive 9x to the fourth. Times yung derivative nito, that is negative 6x. And then, ilabas lang natin ito sa parenthesis natin. So, magiging 6x over... So, since positive ito, so wala man naman mababagong sign dito. So, mauna dito yung 9x to the 4th minus 24x squared plus 1 plus 16, that is 17. So, the final answer is 6x over 9x to the 4th minus 24x squared plus 17. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.